Hello there, uh, Just Shock TV in Versus Scotland. It's the janitor here, and we're uh, discussing sort of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Basically, it's uh, coming close to the end of the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 run before Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 comes out in November. So I just thought I'd do a little video, you know, talking about how much uh, I like, dislike Marvel vs. Capcom 3, depending on what tournament you've seen me at. Because that game does get me mad, mad sorry. Anyway, so I just thought I'd open up showing you the opening cinematic just in case you've not seen the game. We've got uh, Ryu getting extended the helping hand. Oh, oh, buddy, come on, get up, buddy. I'm gonna help you up, buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh, all jokes, no one's there. Sorry, bro. Anyway, as you can see, Ryu's getting beat up. I remember seeing this part of the trailer for the first time ever, and it was like, what is going on here? It was so different. The game looks so amazing. There wasn't even a gameplay video we saw. It was just this cinematic here. In fact, I think I show right up to where the trailer ended in this opening, and then I kind of skip it to go and play some games with Belvedere. Shout out to Belvedere, my uh, training partner throughout this whole game. If I've learned anything about this game, it's uh, he hates Hagar Assist, and I hate every single team he's ever played ever. I just get so pissed off sometimes. But to be honest, I do love the game. It's a really fun game. I reckon it's a pretty good entry level uh, fighting game to play, it's uh, not too difficult, not too execution heavy unless you want it to be, you want to play those teams where it's heavy on execution, it's just a, a good game. So anyway, after uh, Hulk, Gamma Tsunami's the ground here, we're going to uh, probably jump right into a gameplay here, uh, boom, Hulk, yeah, so anyway, I'll probably just go over like the flow of a match and stuff, I don't know, man, I'm just going to run a bit more versus Capcom 3 and Ultimate coming out, I'm happy Ultimate's coming out, bit soon, but what are you gonna do? Uh, but fuck all of it, we'll just talk about Marvel vs. Capcom 3. With that old Odin screen, Ryu screaming at uh, Wolverine's balls there. I don't know if you caught that, you can go back a couple frames and pause it I guess. So anyway, this is the Xbox Live interface, just in case you've, you're not familiar with that. And then I will join the game. So anyway, this is the online lobby system where uh, matches are had. Unfortunately there's no spectator mode which kind of sucks so we really got more people wanting to play but luckily that's coming in a little bit anyway. So here we go to the character select screen so you get all of these interesting and dynamic characters that you can play as and throughout this playthrough I believe I pick the same ones over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Anyway we get a couple matches here. I think I get absolutely stomped in them but uh, let's go. So anyway, yeah Hulk. Hulk's the character I lead with. I've been playing Hulk since Mar uh, March when the game actually came out. Uh, I don't know, I just <laughs> really like the character. <laughs> He's got silly things to use, nothing really technical about him. I just go in and try and do some damage. Anyway, get up with Wesker, Taskmaster and Dormammu here. He's got a re they're really strong sort of in your face and keep away team. You'll see Dormammu really, really fuck me up a lot of times, but that's how it goes. So anyway. Whisker with those shots. Whisker's really dangerous at any part of the screen with that gun. He can uh, stop assists, he could shoot you out of the air, he can do pretty much anything he wants. You just got to be fearless and get in, like I'm doing. You'll see Hagar Assist coming in to cover me, so that I can at least trade. I'll get hit and Hagar Assist will get hit. But yeah, just got caught landing there, got caught in the attack. Uh, Taskmaster coming in with a arc shot there. Wesco just staying away from Hagar Assist because he knows exactly what I'm going to do with that. I'll get a catch with Sentinel Drones once he's up in the air, down on the ground. Gamma Tsunami into DHC into Sentinel Force. Too close to the corner, so I drop it. I've not played Marvel in a couple of days, so I just forgot some of my shit. <laughs> anyway, Wesco misses with the gunshot. But uh, Gav just keeping on the pressure with the gun. He's stopping me from doing much because Sentinel's quite slow. And his hyper armor moves like that are only good up close. Luckily, I can play through most of these attacks from a crouching medium attack. So anyway, Taskmaster. Taskmaster's an interesting character. Edinburgh loves Taskmaster quite a lot. Edinburgh players play him. Anyway, I'm just using retarded sentinel. Simple, simple combos. But Taskmaster's got a lot of tricks. A lot of arrows. Quite good pressure. And he can do the damage once he gets the hit in. Basically, he's like, yeah, combos, motherfucker. Oh, no, tried to go for a grab reset there, but Gav hitting buttons on the way down because he's played me so many times, he knows what to do. <laughs> And here comes Dormammu. So it's three on one, and I get absolutely wiped out here. Dormammu's got insane uh, chip damage and damage on uh, X Factor. X Factor's a uh, basically an ability that scales up depending on how many characters you've got left, and it increases your attack and your 
speed and whatnot. It's uh, going to get nerfed in Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3. It's going to be more normalised across the board. So like characters like Dormammu which just get insane attack, but nothing from speed. Uh, are going to get more normalised. Everybody's getting the same sort of buffs along the along the road, which kind of sucks for me because my team's basically based on get X Factor and do a shitload of damage. And Gav's going to round out here. There's not much I can do. I'm just going to keep me in the corner. Hagar's a grappler class, really slow. Definitely not getting in there easily. And I'm just going to. I think I'll probably eat a normal here, and that just rounds it out. Oh wait, maybe not. Oh, I'm gonna screw it up. Yeah, screwed up the thingy. Went for a grab there and missed it. <laughs> the the retarded last ditch stand from my Hagar is just stupid. Yeah, stocking flare there is gonna round it out. Just gonna use his uh, moves. Yep. Tried to go for a grab again. It's too slow. Command grabs are not that good in this game, but all my characters have one just as a sort of wall factor to use. But anyway, that's that's pretty much the flow of a game of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Unfortunately, you'll not see many characters because me and Gav are boring like that, but uh, it's definitely, it could be more fast paced, it could be more rushed in orientated. I tend to slow the pace down just because I'm struggling on what to do. Uh, Alright, I forgot to delete all the bits. Oh well, we can just talk through it so you can see the fantastic online lobby again. Anyway, so we get back to characters so like screen, I'm going to pick the same characters. You can actually set your teams to just come up when you want but I'm too lazy to set that up. I'm just such a such an apathetic and lazy player. Anyway, if you make in <laughs> Hagar's uh, portrait glitch there. Anybody who noticed that, well done for noticing it. Uh, so let's see we got the second game going on. Same teams, different stage. I'm pretty sure I get uh, blown up here. Uh, basically what, else is, what, what you see is going on, on the screen is the two point characters, but you see uh, Hagar coming in there, that's an assist, basically he comes in and does one attack, and that's, pr it doesn't sound useful to begin with, but it's pretty useful, there's a lot of utility you can use, uh, and I get happy birthday, that's when two characters get caught at once, and you got to take Sentinel down, Sentinel's not looking healthy, and Hulk's feeling the pressure there, we've not even landed a hit on him yet, so I'm coming in, don't know what I'm going to do, Taskmaster with a horizontal shot, I've changed up his assist, I managed to use a hyper armor on that hit, which basically means I can absorb a hit before I get damaged. DHC in A, I think I dropped it again. Yeah, too late. You want to do the, if for anybody playing Hulk Sentinel, you want to do that around hit 10. I did it hit 12, and Wesker just hits the ground before a drone hits him. And now I'm going to get chipped out again by Gav's strong chip damage team. And now that stock and fire stays on the screen and hits Hulk for a little bit. Now Gav's just walking away with Dormammu. I've got to work out more ways to get past that. And anyway, you'll see me jumping around a lot. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get my assist to hit you from behind. I'm trying to just mix you up, get you just confused about what position I'm in because Hulk's got a lot of long reaching attacks. Oh, there's that grab, that sexy, sexy grab. <laughs> oh, as you can see, I'm just trying to get your land in Hagar assist and hopefully land a hit on you. Doesn't always work. Should have, should have crouched low, that's one of the things I see me fall down in as well, just blocking low. And Hagar going in. Boom, body slam. Oh, too early in the grab there. Got probably really ready to grab anyway, that's why he jumped. <coughs> that's why I need to learn to do backdrop more. But according to the, the interwebs, Hagar, one of my favourite characters, is getting nerfed in Ultimate. Well, some of these tools are getting nerfed, we'll see. I'll still play them. I reckon I'll still play the same team, <laughs> despite the, all, all the interest in new characters being added to the game, such as Phoenix Wright. People are totally hate for Phoenix Wright. Yeah, I get round to it by a triple team, absolute cluster fucking right there. And boom, shows the big fool <laughs> with his godlike whisker. And uh, let's see what have we got going on as well. Uh, so that's uh, me losing again. And then we'll cut to the actually in the original video I cut this out but I forgot to do stuff in it. That's the license card there, you can check your stats and stuff. I wouldn't check mine, they're god awful. I think Gav still plays the same team for this game, I think this this one could be the last game of the set, I'm not sure. Uh but anyway, it's another uh Team Big and Ugly versus Team Skulls and Wesker. 
fascination with the dead. Uh, Dio de Muerto, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll come in again and we'll see how I do this time. Hulk. Just just walking in, no fear. Going in that heavy. I probably could have punished, but did the second dash. To be honest, we were playing online, so the the lag and inputs are always an issue there. But, ah, uh, what you get to do? Yeah, we gave given the pressure, I managed to. Uh, <laughs> variable. Variable counter into a uh, Hagar waste of bar. Probably shouldn't have done it, but. Oh, well, we'll see how well I fight with Hagar. Oh, pile driver. Nice little simple pile driver straight up there. Just hit them with a the light one. Sometimes you don't expect it, which is always nice. But uh, yeah, Wesker's definitely got the advantage in this matchup. He can just come in for so many directions and hammer Hagar so hard. But as you can see, I'm a hard headed individual and I'm just going to keep coming at you. Oh, 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 no. Just going in for the punches. Try to just shut him down there. Could have done a lot more. I need to learn to combo off of my surprise hits. But I just sort of do them and slow down the flow of play instead of generally doing something with them. And there's Hagar's pipe. Oh, one's on him. No. Didn't do anything there. Didn't think I would have hit. Oh, pipe. Gets the ground bounce. Gets the launch. No, nope, was going for the backdrop, but Cav didn't hit any buttons, so his characters throw Invincible on the way in. But here we go. Up, oh, Hagar again. This is why I love wrestling. Up, oh, here comes Sentinel. Hyper Sentinel Force. That's going to get made a lot harder to do in Ultimate as well. That'll be annoying, but we'll see. Oh, no. Taskmaster stopping my Hulk. I don't know why I called Hulk in there. Oh. Drop the combo there. Throw. Nope, should have dashed forward and done a uh, rocket punch, but what are you going to do? Clearly I'm not the the most best Marvel player in the world, as I sometimes claim to be. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. And there's a Hagar assist coming in, that total cock walk of an assist just stopping all the action coming in there. Yeah, this is the last match of the video, and we're just rounding out the uh, result here. Sentinel goes down. Give activates X Factor to give a Dormammu an obscene buff, and he's just coming in and wrecking shop on uh, Hagar. You can see all the damage he did there, and now it's matter of Hulk. Can I make something of this? Nope, Hulk's getting smashed. Hulk's getting hammered in. Oh, Gav drops the combo there, unfortunately for him. Oh, and I do nothing off of that with Hulk, but I get the cross up there. Boom, 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 boom. Insane damage on the Hulk. Anyway, uh. I've been the Janner, thanks very much for watching my uh, silly silly rant on Marvel vs Capcom 3, probably get some more videos up in a couple of days, but uh, thanks very much for watching, and uh, tell me how you like this style of video.